wisdom. You know, whether you're crossbow hunting or bow hunting, a lot of snap decisions come into play. Snap decisions, when we think about them when we're bow hunting, normally it's like whether it's a buck you want to shoot or not, or whether it's a doe you want to shoot or not. That is a snap decision that you have to make. But the bigger ones for me are when that moment of truth arrives and preparing for it before it happens. Because like early season hunting like I'm doing right now, hunting over a water source, the snap decisions for me are when those deer come in, they're usually really on high alert. It could be a food source. It could be a food plot or it could be a feeder, however you're hunting. You have to make a snap decision on, is that deer standing in the right position for you to shoot? And a lot of times things happen so fast, we think they might be, but they're not. Another snap decision that comes into play is your actual shooting position. And for me, this is a tough one because you get caught up in the heat of the moment, you get very excited and you forget a lot of things. That's why I've been practicing today. I'm leaning out this window, trying to practice those shots that aren't perfect. Let's face it, when we're practicing with our bows, we're normally standing up in the backyard and shooting, but when it comes time to sit down, everything changes. And we, we think we're gonna get that shot right out here in front of us and we practice that. But what about the shot that's over here or the shot that's over here? With a crossbow, it's even more difficult. When you're leaning and turning and try to crouch out a window, maybe you're on one knee. That happens to me a lot, especially when we're filming. I have to position myself kind of awkwardly, and it's a snap decision that I'm gonna shoot that way. Things change, your, your aiming point changes, and your point of impact on your arrows change. So all these little snap decisions, think of them and try to come up with a pattern. You can't duplicate all of them practice them you might not be able to practice perfectly but the more you can practice the better prepared you're going to be to make the shot when it counts